Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a service territory in Field Service Lightning. A service territory represents a geographic region, such as cities, counties, neighborhoods, etc., where field service work is performed. They can also represent functional territories, such as field sales and field service. Companies create service territories so they can assign field service workers to specific geographic areas near that employee's home base or home office. You wouldn't want to assign a field technician a service appointment that's three hours away from their home base. Service territories ensure that field technicians assigned to a specific territory will only be assigned work within that territory. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a service territory. To create a service territory from the app launcher, search and open the field service admin app. I currently have it open, but if you don't currently have it open, just search it in the app launcher. If you don't see the field service admin app, it means that you haven't downloaded the field service manage package yet. I created a video on how to download the manage package. So if you haven't done that yet, pause the video and download it before continuing. So from the field service admin app homepage, we're going to navigate and click on the field service settings tab. From here, we're going to click on go to guided setup. And then we're going to click on create service territories. So as you can see, there's currently three service territories already created, Los Angeles, New York, and San Francisco. I'm going to create a new service territory named Philadelphia. And then we're going to click add to create the service territory. So once you create a service territory, you're going to assign it operating hours. Right now, the operating hours are base calendar, but I'm going to switch it to the cloud qualified East coast. You don't actually have to do that yourself. I'm just doing it for the purpose of this video. For the territory address, I'm just going to leave it blank for this video, but you are going to want to fill that out with the office address for that territory. To keep scheduling straightforward and efficient, Salesforce recommends territories should have no more than 50 mobile workers assigned to each territory. So for this example, if we have a business of 100 mobile workers, since Philadelphia is such a large city, we should create child territories to divide the geographic area into smaller areas. So to do so, I'm going to create three child territories, the same way that we created the Philadelphia territory, and I'm going to name them North Philadelphia, South Philadelphia, and West Philadelphia. And just in case any of you are wondering, there is no East Philadelphia. So in order to make these three territories child territories of Philadelphia, all we have to do is drag and drop each territory into Philadelphia. And it's really as simple as that. We've created four total territories, one being the parent territory of Philadelphia, and then three child territories, North Philadelphia, South Philadelphia, and West Philadelphia. So what we've actually created is what they call a territory hierarchy, where you have a parent territory with associated child territories underneath it. A few additional things that I wanted to highlight. Service territory hierarchies can contain up to 10,000 territories. Additionally, there's a few suggested limits that Salesforce recommends. Salesforce suggests that you should limit your service resources, aka your mobile workers, to only 50 per service territory. It's also recommended that you should limit your service appointments per day to 1,000 service appointments per service territory. And finally, Salesforce recommends that you limit your qualified service resources to 20 service resources per service appointment. So that's all I have for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.